What's good, everybody? It's Bro Hamza, and today, guys, I'm coming to you with a brand new video. This time, guys, it's going to be a little different of a video because we got some Yu-Gi-Oh! drama that kind of transpired over during Worlds. Now, if you guys do not know, essentially, DK, who is a Duel Links content creator, I'm pretty sure he moved on to Master Duel. He's like full-time Master Duel. Master Duel Medi does all, all uh, a bunch of like random stuff like that. Um, he ended up going ahead and leaking the deck list for the Master Duel Worlds competitors. So again, if you guys don't know that, they're only allowed to have specific deck lists and they can only share specific cards. So kind of leaking that information is kind of crazy. So quickly, we're going to get into the video. But again, guys, like, comment, subscribe. So I kind of was alerted by this when Ness tweeted out, DK just ruined MD Worlds, aka Master Duels. I'm so against what he just did. This ruins the integrity of the competition and skillful deck building. So again, um, I, Trevor Allen, YGO content, his context, he said this. Somehow he has revealed every player's deck on his website. Not sure if via data mine or what, but it includes all unseen cards. For MD Worlds, this is particularly important as each team is only allowed to share three cards, meaning every player has unique decks and as such, matchups are very strategic and often different and openings and boards things that nature like for example if they can only share maxis or if they're gonna play tier elements and or other rogue decks and stuff like that so again um the reason why he said not sure if that mind because dk is known to do such thing there's also the app um i believe it's untapped.gg which is kind of really bad like i think it's supposed to be one of those like hearthstone overwolf overlay things where it, like showcases the decks but again not necessarily a fan of that and again uh all the dk like meat riders were kind of going crazy on twitter but nesh ended up kind of releasing a youtube video over here so let's go ahead and uh kind of react to it and i'll give you my two cents on the video as well right here like i think what dk just did ruins the integrity of the master duel competition yeah and, and so what ness says here is absolutely uh warranted just specifically because there's the whole strategic um aspect of Yu-Gi-Oh, where you're deck building you're kind of playing tech cards especially in master duel where it's like super limited in kind of what you can play um and kind of like the good decks versus the bad decks so when you have to pick three decks per player you definitely need to be on your toes in terms of like mathematically deck building so the fact that dk like leaked it is just absolutely crazy because then everybody kind of has access to it especially because dk is, has a decent following as well so everybody kind of sees or uses his site as like a hub um to kind of get access to other master duel content so like once it comes out people are just gonna start spamming tweeting it and of course even though they are at the world's championships they're still going to be checking their social media and things of that nature um the the thing is it's a 3v3 um people are supposed to uh share infos in between each other yeah. um in order to figure out the opponent strategy the opponent shared cards and the opponent decklist decade just decided to um uh, remove the part of the competition yeah. by posting every decklist on his website master Duel meta which is kind of crazy as well because the benefit of having a good testing circle and like quote-unquote scouts and things of that nature is because you can relay information to each other um i feel like he just kind of eliminated that aspect of having a testing circle and he kind of just made it public which is kind of crazy um in my right, like it goes in, against in everything opinion. that the Yu-Gi-Oh competition should be yeah that's facts um his point is basically that there are friends that are gonna dm their friends and give them unfair advantage yeah that yeah if that's you know that saying. someone is cheating in a competition in my opinion you are supposed to uh, you're supposed to call them out. Yeah. I don't think what you did is correct. No. I am personally, totally, absolutely against what you just did. Mm -hmm. There are months of preparation. There are months of deck building. There are yeah. months of testings in order to decide which hand traps have to be played, which flex spots have, have to be played, yeah. which strategy follow in a 3v3 competition. You just decided to ruin it. And now, imagine if someone of the teams that does not know that you shared all the deck list, but other teams do know that. Yeah, I, I, I do doubt that, like, some people didn't know and some people knew. I feel like everybody eventually ended up finding out. Um, I'm sure the players were really upset as well. Just uh, one thing to know as well is, like, he is, again, eliminating resources that specific players have access to just because of their player base or the amount of time they put in. So kind of like Nesh said, they were partying, or sorry, not partying, they were uh, playtesting for months on end, trying to figure out the best decks to play. And DK just kind of came out and said, hmm, my special ability is going to let me kind of leak all the deck lists. And of course, it's a little unfair for all the players who are participating in Worlds this year. You just ruined the competition of a fair team that is trying to play out their chance to win Worlds. Again, I do not appreciate what you did. Yeah. Um, and this makes me sad that you actually are trying to gaslight people, mm -hmm. trying to convince them that what you did is fair. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's fair. This is not a personal attack. I don't want to start any drama. I just mm -hmm. care a lot about this game. I mm -hmm. just care a lot about the integrity of this game. And I think you did just a disservice to the community. Right now. I yeah, and, and that's facts too. Like, obviously, Nash doesn't want to start drama, 
but him bringing this to light is like really important as well and if drama starts like who cares because at the end of the day um if you do something this bad kind of in the community or just any sort of competitive community like there needs to be repercussions so i feel like what um kind of nesh did was was a great thing right because he ended up tweeting it out then mbt also said here jesus christ if nothing else the most eventful world in modern memory el mayo so again all this stuff kind of happened um like that i also have another nesh tweet here where he's kind of responding to a dk video um where it says so if you disagree with dk you get labeled as a cheater no matter the testing day judeo judo spent on literally twitch stream in order to show everyone the effort it takes to win and say the format and matchups now he is getting shit on for wanting to play a fair game and it's kind of crazy because if you watch kind of any of those um master duel streams like they were trying their best to not leak any deck list while still getting the most um competitive testing while streaming so i feel like they shouldn't be punished for that regard but this is the uh dk video kind of his response to it i'm gonna try and put it on a little faster speed because it's it's uh whatever but so you don't care about you don't care about the competitive environments you don't care about how your actions affect the players at worlds you just want to grab as much money as possible mm -hmm. that's an absolute l you should have just waited to post them at least after day one but yeah. you don't care at all do you so Judeo Yu-Gi-Oh, very likely one of those players I described to you all as I have two times experience at Worlds where players at home, if you're friends with them, they will watch all the replays, they will gather the decklist themselves, they'll create a spreadsheet with you, they'll message you in Discord, mm -hmm. everyone's secret text, what they're playing, what they're not playing. So Judeo Yu-Gi-Oh possibly likely with that strategy is upset that yeah. his friends at home watching Worlds now can't secretly give Judeo Yu-Gi-Oh the secret text where no one else will have that. So so I think this is just an incorrect uh, kind of statement that he said here. And it's funny that he said it because basically he's saying that, oh, the fact that he has access to resources where the other players do not have access, that's false. Because I believe that when you're preparing for a big stage or a big event or things of that nature, Nature, you are going to go to as many or as far of a length as possible to kind of gain access or insight on other decks for example like you know that the best decks are going to be you bell snake eye fire king tier element branded those type of decks i think the main issue here is the fact that now he is leaking the specific cards and the deck list that other people are playing so that's the issue here right because now you're ruining how competitive it gets it's not a matter of oh no like I i'm baby raging because i don't have the access that my friends used to give me the issue is you have leaked individual deck lists for everybody so now when the match is kind of setting up we don't know if they take their phones away or social media away or things of that nature like they can quickly just pop open a browser look at the deck list and be prepared and play around specific cards like okay nibiru is only played in this deck where it's not playing this deck so now i can play around it so there's no more of the toggle baiting and things of that nature so again um in in that regard he is definitely in the wrong that advantage that judeo Yu-Gi-Oh had has now been taken away by masterofmeta.com so judeo i'm very sorry that you're now on an even playing field you now in between matches can't be fed secret information on your opponent's decks as you have someone at home or multiple people at home because even in, the, in that regard, I don't understand because people in Master Rule are going to be talking to each other as well. Like you have friends like, oh yeah, I lost to this guy. He's playing this deck. Like people do it at locals. People do it at kind of YCSs, regionals, any sort of event. They'll always be talking like literally, um, Walter Jewel literally said long time ago when Protos came out that he would walk around and he would kind of get information that what people used to say and play and be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to Protos and call this guy water when literally calling blind dark was the best thing. But if someone was to call water, you're like, oh yeah, whatever. Like, I guess someone told him I was playing it. I'm going to deal with it. But the fact that you publicly leaked it to every other kind of site is, is that's, that's just next level so no extra advantage for you uh good luck at worlds though thank you yeah and then this whole like he's he's pitting it like he 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 knows what he's doing but he's just making himself look even worse and then there's another tweet here i found um about trevor allen where again the craziest thing about posting everyone's world competitive list is not a single person benefits from it the participants are actively hurt by it and nobody gains anything the only argument is oh well now net deckers can play the best deck in worlds like they couldn't wait literally two days to get their hands on those lists like it I get it, like, you released it because you felt like it was right, but the way that you got it, everyone knows that you must have data mined it or used some sort of third-party software, which is not, of course, by Konami. So the fact that you leaked this is kind of crazy. Again, um, Fuji, who used to be a uh, big Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, player as well, uh, he decided to tweet out, Streamer with large platform leaks a decklist of all the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master World Championship competitors unapologetically, then accuses a competitor who is rightfully upset of being a cheater with no evidence in front of thousands. Yeah, DK to old Judeo, a massive apology. L. So... Honestly, in this point, like, all he needs to do really is just say, you know, guys, I'm sorry for leaking. Um, You know, like, there's, of course, like, I understand that I did everything bad. But I think he's gonna just going to double down way too hard on this, and it's going to be too tough. So, this is what Judeo said. Um, So, in the DK video, he basically said this. That's an absolute L. You should have waited. Um, And then he also said, my finals response for the situation. Oh, you're complaining because you lost. 
every single team is mad about this everyone that i talked to said it was bullshit no matter what the results and now this is a player who attended Yu-Gi-Oh! master of worlds as well so he's kind of telling us from the circle that everyone who was there is very upset untapped sponsors you i ended my partnership today it's konami's fault yeah it also is and it's funny that judeo said he ended his sponsorship with untapped because i also believe that nesh did as well because what they did was absolutely dirty it was just very scummy um it, again it, like nesh said it ruined the integrity of the game and they said plus it doesn't change the fact that it is an absolute scumbag move but people must do that also yeah people can cheat but there are punishments for that and they don't want to risk anything like that if you think this evens the playing field it's kind of crazy you should all say that yeah everyone should rob each other because some people might do it to you last but not least you know what i mean so he and then he goes on to cuss and things of that nature but i also kind of um compare this to other sporting events as well i'm pretty sure the patriots had something known as spygate where again it's very similar where they were essentially using um wrong methods of recording and getting um insights on practices where it's very similar to untapped.gg and things of that nature where you kind of data mine and you use third-party sources to figure out what they're playing and then use it to gain an unfair advantage as opposed to scouting saying okay you know what this guy likes to play this deck or he tends to do this or this deck doesn't play nibiru this guy just dead ass just came and said yo everyone's playing this but that's enough for kind of my rant let me know what you guys think down below if you guys kind of have any other opinions comment down below let me know make sure you guys follow all of the kind of the twitters follow judeo follow nesh things of that nature guys let me know what you guys think of the video and finally my name is Hamza. like i always say keep on shining never on dreams peace